After a couple of weeks of national events, the team being split all over the place, we're finally coming together here in Leo Gang again as a team for World Cup number four. So we have two Austrians on the team and some others are based here in Austria. So some of us are already home. It's nice to be back here in Austria. The race season is so, so tight. That's so why I decided to go home with the truck. Yeah, being, being home is uh, something special. A lot of people uh, see me as a, just a bike mechanic, but I have uh, another life as well. I was born up in the mountain, raised by an old grizzly bear. I sit by Mother Nature and I breathe fresh, clean, natural air. Yeah, Peter really is a man of the land. He actually has a farm at home. He raises pigs, he looks after horses, and to top it off, he has a fish farm big enough to feed the entire family of over 30 people. And I haven't even started to talk about the bikes yet. I love my workshop. I love to work out of this place because every tool has his place. Everything is where I left it. It makes me quite proud when I look around here in my workshop. When I look up to the jerseys and numbers and medals, what's hanging in here, uh, some of the jerseys was not so easy to catch. And the feeling when the bike is, is done and everything is running smooth, how it should be, you feel it, you hear it. It's a really good feeling, it's, it's a really good feeling. Leo Gang is uh, my home race and I'm super excited to yeah, rock that one here in Austria. So with the shorter drives, easy logistics, local event, it allows us to actually focus on the most important part, and that's the racing. Living in the Austrian Alps is, yeah, a privilege actually. Having a home World Cup here in Leogang is very special and it gives kind of extra motivation to push even harder. Yeah, the Austrian Alps are just a magical place. So this is also the first double event where cross country and downhill finally gets together and it's a great opportunity for us to unite the two teams and race under the specialized flag. So here in Austria, in Leogang, the weather, you can never trust it. It can be one day raining and the other day sunshine and it's a different track. So because of this, we need to check the weather all the time. And we need to be more prepared for every condition so we can react quickly if weather change. Sometimes when it's super muddy, we have a few things uh, what we do on the bike that the mud is not sticking there. We tape the back side of the lowers on the top here, uh, the little hose that the mud cannot stick in that. Then we tape uh, the steering tube, the hole, underneath so uh, the, it get not filled up with mud and when it's super 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 muddy we also put on the down tube uh, tape on what the rider can pull off during the race and yeah the last one is uh, during the race in the feed zone we give the riders water bottles they can take the water bottle and spray it on the drivetrain so yeah it's for the gearing so now the bike is ready for the mud festival it's yeah Super slippery. See, it's slippery. Now you better to go on the line you get before. Okay, today it's track walk. We're gonna go up and look at some section that's uh, probably gonna change depending on the weather. So here we are on the first uh, technical section of the course after that long steep downhill. This is the first yeah, big tricky section. When it's dry, it's not that, that bad, but if it gets muddy, it's gonna be completely crazy here. Yeah, you can see there's two lines, an A line and a B line. The, this first line gets pretty slick and redded out, so it makes for a fast, kind of risky descent. The B line has a couple corners to slow down, but when there's a lot of people, it's hard to tell which one's faster. Here it's another tricky section. It don't look that bad. It's just uh, rooted, it's mo not the most technical section, but when it's gonna get uh, rain, all the roots gonna get super slippery. Yeah, what's cool about this race here in Leo Gang is that everything's really natural. All these roots can become ice slick when it's raining and they're very unpredictable. 
when the weather changes here, this truck can be a completely different monster. It's a proper Leo Gang Weather. 2020 was uh, my title. Yeah, it's a uh, good memory here. It's raining in the wet is probably the best you could do because you're prepared for everything. There is a change coming, so we will see how the weather is for the race and for the weekend. We don't know what the weather is going to do. We don't know where the clouds are going to be. But you can be sure, we're going to be on the start line and we're going to be ready for it. So buckle up kids, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Here I am, back again in Leo Gang. <laughs> <laughs> the older move is amazing. <laughs> <laughs>